Is the world not dark enough for you? Well, good news, it absolutely really is. And if you'd like to know more about all the horrible things that humans have been doing to each other since time immemorial, well, please check out my new channel, Into the Shadows. From landmines to penal colonies to horrific diseases, if it's, well, horrible, we cover it. Check it out through the link in the description below or search for Into the Shadows. I hope to see you there. And now today's video. In 2007, a resident of Lantana, Florida was doing what we've all done, Google earthing his house and flying around being a bit nosy. Presumably he was hoping to spot a crop circle or a bat signal painted on someone's roof. Instead, he found what looked like a submerged car and he reported it to the police. They dredged it out and discovered the decomposed remains of William Moult, who'd been reported missing after failing to return from a night out 10 years earlier. Without satellites, who knows how much longer the mystery of his disappearance would have remained unsolved. Of course, satellite imaging hasn't just led to cases being closed. A fair few have been open, like the Beatrix Park dock murder spot. Frantic Google Earthers rushed to report a brutal killing to police when they came across a trail of blood leading down a small pier with two two figures standing by the water. Clearly, a murderer had dragged his victim's bloodied corpse along the pier and was intending to dump the body. Thankfully, it turned out to be a man and his dog. The blood was just discoloration of the wooden dock where it was wet. This fantastic story is just the tip of the iceberg, as once you give people the ability to spy on anything they like, they will. And They've uncovered some pretty amazing things. A marriage proposal written on a roof, a friendly oil refinery in Virginia with a smiley face, an island in a lake, on an island, in a lake, on an island, and a 9 by 7 kilometer scale model of the disputed India-China border presumably used to plan attacks. Sorry. I guess it took a dark turn there for a moment. The point is, satellites have made loads of fascinating discoveries, and here are the top five. One of the best things about satellite images is that they've given us a glimpse of incredible works impossible to appreciate from the ground. Some of the most recent discoveries include a corn maze of Oprah's face, a giant pink knitted rabbit, and a church built, hopefully accidentally, in the shape of a penis. One pass of a satellite even picked up a neighbor dispute from space. Apparently, someone had the audacity to paint their garage purple. This upset locals so much that they began a petition to have the offending building, which they dubbed the Purple People Eater, repainted. When the owner refused, his neighbor to the north decided to immortalize his anger by mowing a hole with an arrow pointing to the garage in his lawn. Not all of the mysterious ground patterns picked up by satellites have been so simple to solve. While most represent recognizable symbols like the Nazca lines in Peru, the Coca-Cola logo in Chile, or the art installation Desert Breath in Egypt. Some seem completely random or so ugly that they're artistically pointless. Two examples of these confusing features are the Gobi Desert patterns and the patterns on the site of RAF Feltwell in England. They've been discovered in many other countries too. The patterns themselves are completely different, but most cover a large rectangular area. Theories from armchair satellite detectives mostly blame aliens, of course, but also art and religion. However, the most likely explanation is it's classified. Yep, it's the military. The strange and seemingly random patterns are probably calibration points for spy satellites. The fact that China, the UK, America, and all of the countries that they've been spotted in are known to use this technology adds weight to the explanation. Plus, many are located near military bases, so pretty much case closed. Unless you're an alien conspiracy theorist who'd go so far as to suggest that the bases were built in these locations after the discovery of the patterns to guard the secrets of extraterrestrial contacts. And who's to say the marks were made by aliens? Maybe they were made by us to communicate with aliens. Who knows when you go down the conspiracy hole? Now you might think that we're being very sarcastic here, and we are. But if you take a casual Google Earth stroll over to New Mexico, you might just notice some patterns carved into the mountains. These were created by the church of Scientology to mark the location of their hidden vaults, which contain the original texts of the founder, L. Ron Hubbard. The enormous symbols are there to guide future followers to the site when they return from space, having fled whatever horrifying fate awaits the rest of us non-believers. Presumably, it would be pandemic or nuclear war, something practically unimaginable and way far in the future. Something like that.
Speaking of aliens and mysteries, let's talk about Area 51. Built in 1955 to train U-2 pilots and develop planes, the site is most famous for housing the remnants of the 1947 Roswell incidents. The government says that the debris stored there includes the balloons, sensors, and radar reflectors from classified Project Mogul. Others say that the remains collected came from a UFO, and also its alien pilot is also in Area 51. Of course, the government has done little to quell rumors by keeping the base a tightly guarded secret. It boasts armed guards, no president has ever visited, and it's got a strict no-fly zone making aerial photography impossible. However, thanks to the 1992 Open Skies Treaty and a Russian satellite launched in 1998, Area 51 has been exposed for all to see, at least what's outside and above ground. When the first images were uploaded in 2000, the site couldn't handle the sheer number of views, and it crashed. This drove conspiracy theories through the roof, as clearly the government was bringing down the site to shield their secrets from public eyes. However, when it was brought back online, many eager alien hunters were sorely disappointed by the scenes of normal hangars, nondescript buildings, and down-to-earth facilities like a baseball diamond and tennis courts. Although, I mean, what would you expect? Obviously, all the good shit is hidden underground. So what mysteries have arisen from the satellites getting a cheeky glimpse into one of the most secretive places on Earth? Firstly, one Google Earth user claims to have discovered a secret entrance leading to an underground portion of Area 51. A road from the main site leads up to a small car park and two arched entrances straight into a mountain. While not exactly groundbreaking, as I don't know about you, but I naturally assumed Area 51 would have some kind of underground carved into the rock bunker situation going on. However, it proves that there's more than can be seen from space. Obviously. Secondly, and more dubious, is the 16 meter tall robots. Yes, full on Transformer style humanoid two arms, two legs robots. In 2020, another Google Earth user spotted them casually lying above ground for all the satellites to see. Now, it's seriously doubtful that these are genuine battle bots. For a start, if you go back in time on Google Earth and check out the old shots, the robot is visible in all of them. However, its pose changes slightly every single time, going from lying on its back. To its side. While some give this as evidence of a long-term project, I like to think that if a government spent presumably millions of dollars developing an enormous robot, they wouldn't just leave it lying outside for years on end. They've not even bothered to cover it up with a tarp. This, of course, doesn't mean it's not a mystery. There's definitely a robot-shaped object there, and it's 16 meters long. What is it? Well, the most compelling theory is that some of the people working there thought it would be funny to mess with conspiracy theorists by piling storage crates in the shape of a robot. Or maybe they were trying to trick Russian spy satellites, convincing them that they're working on walking, talking robots instead of something strategically useful, like. I don't know, a plane of some variety. The latest mystery emerged in 2022 when eagle-eyed satellite watchers noticed a new style of plane being transported in an uncovered structure. It's a delta-shaped craft approximately 65 feet long, 50 feet wide, and plane enthusiasts are rather excited. The size and shape is similar to the next-generation Air Dominance, NGAD, and sixth-generation fighter concepts that have been released. These are intended to enter the field in 2030 with improvements in propulsion, stealth, advanced weapons, and digital design that will see them replace the current current F-22s. So have we had the first glimpse of them? Well, no civilian knows. Since the release of Google Earth, hundreds of monster hunters have taken to their seats to spend hours scouring the oceans for, well, anything other than lots and lots of blurry blue pixels. Hundreds more have taken to Photoshop to claim all of the glory with none of the dull scouring. We've had a giant crabzilla off the coast of Whitstable, England, a 120 meter giant centipede near Scotland, and megalodons almost, well, everywhere. However, very occasionally, weird ocean anomalies are picked up by satellites, providing some actual mysteries to solve. Most are quick to crack, like the Oak Bay giant sea worm that turned out to be the wake of a boat, the latest sighting of the Loch Ness Monster that turned out to be the wake of a boat, and a Russian lake leviathan that turned out to be, wait for it, well actually no, this one wasn't the wake of a boat, it was sand, not a monster. Surprising. By far the most famous of these is the Antarctic Kraken, which can still be seen on Google Earth just south of Deception Island. At first sight, it resembles the legendary Kraken, a terrifying Norwegian octopus-like sea monster with the taste for sinking ships. It was first described by Francesco Negri in 1700 in his Scandinavian travel log as a massive fish that was many-horned and many-armed. 
Hansagidi, a Dano-Norwegian missionary, elaborated further, claiming that it had many heads and claws, its body was many miles long, and when it emerged, it seemed to cover the whole sea. Of course, their claims have since been dismissed as vast exaggerations of a giant squid which measured a mere 13 meters in length and lacked the multiple heads and whirlpool-inducing body. That is until Google got involved and provided satellite evidence for all to see. The image is 100% real. There's been no sneaky photoshopping or image stitching glitches on this one. It's just a nice, juicy mystery. Satisfyingly, though, it's one we actually managed to solve. The shape you see isn't an enormous cephalopod with huge clawed tentacles capable of taking down a warship. Oh no, it's a rock. To be fair, as far as rocks go, it's one of the more interesting ones. It's got a name and everything. It's called Sail Rock. It's volcanic and it's 30 meters high. Why the story took off and spread so quickly when a quick Google provides a map and actual photos of what's very clearly a rock is, well, that's the biggest mystery of all. One mystery that even armchair Googlers haven't been able to solve is that of Largo, Vermello Lake or Blood Lake. This one's in Baghdad, Iraq, not the 2006 horror porno or the 2014 horror film that I encourage you not to look up if you're normal and multiple layers of bloody teeth freak you out a great deal. Don't do it. The actual leak made headlines in 2016 when NASA's Aqua satellite captured images that showed it to have turned bright red. And I don't mean the, oh, I see what you mean. If you just squint the right way, it does look a little bit reddish, doesn't it? Oh, no, 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 no. It's more like, holy sh that is redder than the inside of the car in Pulp Fiction when Vincent Vega shot Marvin in the face. <laughs> That's how red it is. Blood was, of course, most people's first thought, leading many to suggest the horrifying hue was the result of a nearby slaughterhouse draining into the lake. Other suggestions include industrial waste, dyes, or products of water treatment. The most likely explanation is an algae bloom or growth of a blood-red seaweed. However, that doesn't explain why both lakes on either side are a normal color or why, as soon as the lake made headlines, it returned to a normal color and hasn't been red since. This has led to many disgruntled tourists traveling to the lake and being disappointed. One disgruntled visitor simply reviewed it as not red. One star. As the least explored continent on Earth, it makes sense that Antarctica is home to the most mysterious satellite discoveries. Aside from the whole Kraken situation it's got going on, there are also hundreds of claims of alien crash sites, secret military bases, and mysterious intelligently designed objects and pyramids being are revealed by melting ice. Satellite images of the Wilkesland region have revealed a few anomalies that remain unanswered. The first to be spotted was a dark, semicircular shaped disk emerging from the ice, and it's big, approximately 60 feet across, and it has a very man made look about it. Of course, being round, the first cries were of a crashed UFO. Others even suggested this is the site of a secret military base or a seed bunker. More creative individuals cited as proof that our Earth is hollow and the disk is a hidden door to some kind of underworld. Whether it's to keep us out or to keep the monsters in is currently unclear. Just a short skate across the ice takes you to the next mysterious satellite find, what looks like a large opening to a cave. Again, theories range from alien lair to military bunker. Of course, it could just be the way the ice is melted, but, well, that just wouldn't be very exciting, would it? Beyond these little anomalies, which in fairness could turn out to be glitches or poorly stitched images, satellites have uncovered one more Antarctic mystery. In 2006, NASA's gravity recovery and climate experiment GRACE satellite uncovered a massive 300-mile-wide gravity anomaly, indicating a huge object inside an even larger crater, three times the size of the Chicxulub crater which killed the dinosaurs. A team of researchers has determined that it's most likely to have been caused by the impact of a colossal meteor. This theory lines up with the currently unexplained Permian-Triassic extinction event which killed 96% of creatures in the sea and 70% of those on land. Of course, the words Nazi base, inner world, and alien threat have been thrown around too, but let's just say that those ones are less likely. As it's buried below the ice, we can't see it and prove that if the ice melts, hordes of aliens won't come pouring out to devour us, so until we improve our remote sensing technology, send a team to drill through the fragile ice caps or burn enough oil to melt them, it's a mystery that's going to remain unsolved. So I hope you found today's video interesting. If you enjoyed these mysteries, why not check out another video we've recently done called The Creepiest Mysteries You've Probably Never Heard Of. It's on the screen now. Check it out and thank you for watching.